What a terrible waste. This just came in the mail. That's okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thick accents and couture? Humans have just worked it out to where everything is such a scam. Like a dummy. <laughs> What's up y'all, good morning. It is May 1st and it's a Monday. And we're headed into the office and today just feels good because there's so many new beginnings, you know? We love starting a new month on a Monday. Remember y'all into the office with me today for a little bit? Nothing crazy. It is 7.30 on the dot. On the dot. Last night I went to sleep at like 10 and I woke up at like 6.20, so I got pretty decent rest, which I praise the Lord for. And this morning, I've literally just been sitting in silence. Y'all, today, I'm actually starting a three-day liquid fast. Or not a fast, but just like a three-day liquid cleanse. With Destiny, we decided to do a liquid cleanse together. So, here we are. She sent me her picture yesterday. She was like, I think I'm ready. I was like, girl, I'm going into the office tomorrow, so I'm gonna just buy some juices when I get there. I'm trying to figure out what am I about to get into after work. I don't know. We'll see what we get into. Tonight is the Met Gala. We'll be watching that a little bit. Just wanted to say good morning, good people, and people out here honking early in the morning. Y'all need to get some sense about yourselves because it ain't that serious. It's only 7.46, okay? So y'all, these are the drinks that I brought with me into work today. The Croix Lime, the Croix Lemon, and Diet Green Tea. I'm gonna definitely have to walk to the store to try to get some juice or something else because that's just not gonna be enough. I'm gonna be in here. Hmm. I'll probably be in here crying. Let's see what the folks got for us today. Let's see how many emails I have. They got two emails, wow. Only got two emails, y'all, that is shocking. I know y'all see my janky looking nails. I'm trying to just let them fall off and not rip them off, but pay no attention to that. But I'm tripping, I need to clean this desk off. I forgot I disinfected wipes and wipe this desk off. Oh, and y'all, this is what I'm wearing. Black bodysuit cardigan, some little jogger pants from Nike and these new balances. This is my little business casual fit for the day, even though ain't nothing business about it. Y'all, it's around 11 o'clock and I'm in the grocery store. I stopped here to get some drink because I'm starving. And y'all know we're doing a liquid diet today. So I picked up this pineapple pink guava kombucha. It's less sugar and this was the cheapest one over there. It was like $2.79 and all the other ones were $5. So we're gonna try this one. Y'all, I done did my time. I served my eight hours. I served my nine to five. And here we are. I wanted to give y'all my review on this kombucha. But first, let me put some bath and body on these lips. Cause child, what I need to do is get out of this turn lane, but there's a bus in the right lane. I, I don't know if I want to get stuck in a turn lane or behind a bus. Anyway, so this is the Simple Truth Organic kombucha pink apple something like that pineapple pink guava this is good especially if you're looking for an alternative to like really sugary kombucha because i think actually in the last vlog i brought some kombucha from aldi and i was telling y'all that it has so much sugar in it so this has eight grams of sugar and it's five grams of added sugar i think the other kombucha that i brought from aldi alito was like 
I want to say it was near 30 grams, 38 or something like that, of sugar. I don't know how many grams were of that were added sugar, but nonetheless, this has significantly less sugar in it. I'm trying to see if it has any, oh it does, it has stevia in it. Because when I took the first sip, I was like, this, there's something about this, and that's what it is. You can tell that it's not like pure sugar. I know with sugar alternatives, it does have like that aftertaste, but besides that, this kombucha is really good. I would definitely get it again just off the strength that it has less sugar. Whole time, I really could have threw on an entire coat today. It's 61 degrees, according to my car, but it's cold outside, it's chilly. It's windy and yeah. All when I first got to the office this morning, I was like, I am cold. I was in there like this the whole time, just trying to keep my body heat. As far as this liquid fast, it's going fine. I drank two LaCroix, the diet green tea, and I also drank this kombucha today. So that's all that I've had all day. And um, honestly, I feel good. I feel energetic and I really have no complaint. I was hungry earlier, but whenever I drink something, it just pretty much takes away the hunger. what's up y'all happy thursday i mean huh happy tuesday y'all why did my sephora package from me shopping at sephora sale it just came in the mail today it is may 2nd <laughs> this just came in the mail what when did the sale end like on the 18th that's a long time in my personal opinion but anyway i ordered this stuff probably about two weeks ago so let's get into it. I honestly didn't order that much stuff. It's getting Chanel packaging, very pristine. I am grateful for the things. All right, y'all, this is literally everything I got not much so this is so tiny i didn't think it'd be this small but this is the fenty cream um blush in the color can y'all see because i can't this color super pretty let's open it up it's not gonna work that's not gonna work why is this so difficult i literally have to cut and rip this open childproof okay after several minutes i have gotten the cream out of the box so this is what it looks like oh it's so pretty it's so pretty for look at y'all y'all see y'all sales but this is so pretty i'm excited to wear this and it has like a, a wee little bit of shimmer in it she's cute and then we got this rare beauty blush i heard about this on tiktok because i watched like the get ready with me's the makeup get ready with me's and stuff anthony gets on my nerves y'all why is he up there making noises with this little turkey call thing that he has he just is <laughs> but anyway this is so cute you are rare i love when brands just take that extra little step it's like you see something all over tiktok and then once you finally get it it's just like wow this is what i've been seeing all over tiktok when i see it on people's videos i'm just like oh that is so cute and now i have it in person i'm still like this is so cute i guess we should open it huh oh this is gonna be pretty this is gonna be pretty, Oh, Okay, I like it. What was sad is that I'm really sitting here right now thinking like, hmm, I wonder what it is can I take back? Y'all see when I was opening this, I was like, just in case, let me open it nicely so that I can return it nicely. That's always where my brain goes. What can I return? Let me lift y'all up instead of me bending down. I got the Sephora makeup setting spray because y'all know this stuff is 30% off and I said, okay, uh-huh, yes, we'll do that. We're just trying out Sephora products at this point, y'all. I use LA Girl Concealer the most, but I want to try something else. So, yeah. I wonder, is this going to elevate my makeup? 
Like, is this gonna take me to the next level? You know what I'm saying? By not using LA Girl Concealer. But people say like when you invest in your makeup, you can tell and it looks different. So I'm just interested. This is gonna look different. Invest is a strong word, but. And then I got this tinted moisturizer. I love tinted moisturizers for the summertime because it can just replace the concealer and foundation. I mean, y'all know how it goes. This is tinted moisturizer, so. And then, oh, this already does not look like my color. This looks like it's gonna, this looks like it's gonna give me a, a white cast. But this is another best skin ever. This is in the color, or it's in the number 33N. And then this one is 35N. So these are like right beside each other on the chart, I believe. So this is the lighter one, this is the very next one. The packaging is so pretty on this, honestly. I love minimal packaging. might work this might work let me see y'all see oh yeah it's giving powder oh that's not gonna work i mean that's my hand but I should try it on my face as well. But I don't think that's my color. I might give that to Janae. Dang. Come on. Yeah. Mm-mm. What a terrible waste. And then, oh, I forgot I got this. I just got a lip gloss. I really like Sephora's lip gloss. I think for the price, you know, there's nothing really negative that I would say about it. So yeah, I personally really enjoy it. This is in the color Booked. Oh, this looks pretty. This just reminds me of date night. I don't know what it is about this color. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. It's like the perfect mauve, mauve. Like, look at this. This is the perfect mauve color. This is so pretty. The color is a little more red than it actually is in person. In person, it's just like this pink, gorgeous mauve color, oh my gosh. Why is it when I say mauve, it sounds like I'm saying it wrong? Like I'm over exaggerating it, but I don't know how else to say it, mauve. That's mauve. That's mauve. Mm. It just, it don't sound right to me. So I'm about to set up these products so I can get a cute little thumbnail of them. Cause y'all know we gotta have a cute little thumbnail. We need a cute little photo, okay? So this is the paper that came with the order. So I'm going to just set the products at the top of this. And I really like how it's wrinkled. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see like how that turns out. I might wrinkle it some more, but I wanna just look at it first to make sure you guys to be sure face y'all down okay so oh my gosh this reminds me of pieces of her <laughs> this reminds me of pieces of her take all these pictures y'all i slaved over pieces of her okay if y'all don't know that's my business where i sell um waist beads and um body oils just things that i love and and that's crazy that um that I'm over here doing this. This is really reminding me of when I used to be taking pictures of for of my waist beads and <sighs> be on Canva all day, be on different little apps, just editing and looking at the photo. Oh. Okay, so let me see how this photographs. Where is my phone? Where is my phone? I was right here the whole time. Okay. It might look cute in person, but then you gotta see how I photograph. Oh, I need to turn my plant laid off because it's giving like this pink, pink cast on it and I don't really like that. Let's see y'all. Maybe I can do something like this. Break it up a little bit. Break it up a little bit. Mm, just, just a little bit. It's just a thumbnail girl, relax. I'm acting like this is the world championship. This is a thumbnail, hun. <laughs> you will be okay. Y'all, I just did the most. Ooh. I just did the most. <laughs> I 
Those are so cute. There is a very harsh line. There's a very harsh line and it's in all the pictures, but I said, you know what? I've been rearranging this for the past two minutes and I'm not doing it again. I'm recording another vlog at the same time. So y'all are gonna see this outfit again in another vlog, just FYI. I need to figure out what I'm wearing tomorrow to work y'all. Anyway, y'all saw how I clapped, but okay, good job team. Oh, the Met Gala was last night. I did take notes and I um, recorded some stuff, but I don't know if I wanna do a whole separate video on the Met because I just wasn't inspired this year. Like, I enjoyed it, but it was nothing like how previous Met Galas have been just incredibly artful and profound. What's going on? Happy Friday. Happy El Cinco Day. Mayo. Okay. We about to head out. We're going to this place called Continental Pool Lounge. We have been there before. I suggested that we do Mexican, but nobody liked my idea. Everybody wanted to do, you know. So that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just got dressed, did my makeup. I had a braid in my hair, but I just changed it to a but I just took the braid out and then like wrapped the hair around. So, yeah. The braid just was given too casual, you know. Like we are giving casual, but it was giving like work. Like I'm about to go work construction type casual. <laughs> so I had to change it. But y'all, why has this necklace been sitting in my trunk for the past, I would say about five months? I got this necklace from Express. Oh. Yeah, I got this necklace from Express. And I want to say this was like $15. They were having to buy one, get one free or something of the sorts when I went. But it's actually the necklace version of this bracelet. And I've never worn it. So I am looking forward to wearing this. I don't know how I'm going to style it. But I honestly just see myself maybe wearing this with like a white t-shirt that's like cut right here. And just throwing this on and, you know, dressing it up or dressing this down. Y'all, the doctor office just called me. I scheduled an appointment for primary care. Being an adult, I have not been to a primary care doctor. Man. High school? This is my outfit. Not me doing like... <laughs> but this is my outfit. I got this shirt from a vendor. These gauchos are from H&M, which y'all saw in one of the previous vlogs and then shoes are the 993s so and then just my little ooh ooh I'm ashy hold on yeah and then the same rings that I wear all the time I got these from various festivals and from Etsy <sighs> y'all can you tell I'm not really in the mood to vlog can you tell but we're not gonna let that stop us. I'ma keep, I'ma just keep on pushing through because yeah, you got to in life because you know I was gonna be in the mood to do stuff and y'all know how that goes. But see my edges trying to, my edges trying to play. I'm just like, why y'all, why are y'all curling up like that? Like, what did I do to you? What did I do? You know what I'm saying? Feel if I fly, I'm a danger to the skies If it be in my first time Dutch sheep runners, who's in who? Spoon fed insecurity, anxiety, my truth Flipping notes off the Android, banging P for a late night You I with the binary beast Uber East, wasting magic, ordering on reliable feasts Sacred fruit off the tree, went rotten and grew legs too deep Staring my apathy down, match made in a cell No winner till them ruby slippers tossed Scarlet eye specialist poet, the diet, coffee and greens Be that steam and light bulb dreams are we getting on the infamous Roslyn Metro steps? <laughs> it's so high. The people really walking. I know that's right. Get your steps in. This is what happens when you ask your boyfriend to take a picture of you. This is what happens when you ask your uncle, your brother, any dude. They just do not. What is this? What is this, babe? What is this? That was the last one I took. <laughs> That's the first one I saw. Now I'm gonna pay my fee because 
you talking about? Uh-oh. Oh, oh my God. See, I'm trying to be all honest and stuff, and now I got to add value to my car. He's talking about, come on. Hold on. Uh, thanks. Okay. I got through with Anthony's business. They loaded his Metro card. I should have. I don't know nothing about that, but. Should, you should have stayed right there and swiped it again. I know. Because now, Cause now it's going to be off. It's messed up. Yeah. But it's okay because we're riding back with Kia. But yeah, I don't know if it's ever going to make. We'll see. Well, just hit it. Hit it one more time on the way back so that it can balance out. I got to go. No, you gotta be on this side because you hit it coming in. So now you gotta hit it in coming out. I'm coming out, I'll be on the other side. You get what I'm saying? No, I'm saying coming back in because you hit it coming out. So you gotta hit it coming back in. I just swiped it on the other side, Christina. So if I'm coming out, I swiped it to get out. I swiped oh. it again to get you to come through there. So you gotta swipe what it. I'm saying, I should have oh, okay. on the other side and swiped it again. So I'm saying it's like I'm coming out. That's confusing, Annie, y'all. You don't get what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. With these Roslyn streets. Let me see these pictures you took. See what they look like. Let's see, y'all. Oh, okay. I look like I'm reaching for my life right here. Goodness. Hey. Maybe we should smoothly just Uh-oh. Mm. I don't know about these, but mm. Mm. y'all, I asked Anthony, "Do you know where we going?" He talking about something. Do you know who we dealing with? Can you answer the question or not? Things don't gotta be explained, man. Just follow me. That's what happens when you're dealing with a leader. Just follow me. I know that's right. But honestly, y'all know, when you got a man, you don't be paying attention to none of the directions. Just tell me where to go. Pray I'm still alone for the vision. Still need assistance. Rolling with the norks. Still gingerly apply force to the page till it lift. Lift off, slow grip, refer to an open palm I am my ego or my soul, whichever comes first Depressed, I accept, denied man for a flat like Tony Stark, the ghost of my past Tossed me while holding my hands up I was in air and was preparing Prefer sincerity, staring into space to hang up my mask I beg you let me figure it out, never mind Was a man too snout, defective, pessimism pounds Boy of the jungle, born of a yearning for company Like who the under Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo and Tiger, we miss you. Cheers. Cheers to Tiger. Cheers to Tiger. We're about to try this tequila and grapefruit for the first time. It's okay. Y'all know I'm not much of a drinker. But, you know, I think it's okay. Defective pessimism pounds Boy of the jungle Born of a yearning for company Like who the underbelly Underlying lumber Dumping my arse around love Love and horror Land and water Two sides of the same order Scan the offer Like the pale man Caught in your youth Wrong boy Funny cause I like Grew up at the YMCA And we used to play pool All the time But I have no idea How to play Batter up Batter up Fish. 
Wait for the night because I just, I just dropped the heck. Man, look, I just dropped my camera so bad, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put y'all away for the night. Y'all looking for that bonus? Looking for that bonus? Say hi, y'all. up y'all happy tuesday today is may 9th we are about to run out this house i have an appointment at 11 45 but i want to stop and get iced coffee from mcdonald's if possible what was i about to do i'm gonna put on some concealer real fast and then we have to head out it's 10 50 oh let me see how far away the doctor's office is remember i was telling y'all yesterday that i haven't been to the doctor in like 10 years for you know just a regular primary care checkup appointment let me put the address in my gps so that i can make sure that i am on time because she was like yeah it might be best to come a little earlier oh it's only 12 minutes oh shoot but it's like a really big building so i still might need time to you know let me throw on my perfume real quick and then we're gonna head out because y'all know the doctor gonna be all up in my all up in my grip this was new bouquet y'all see me put this same combination on before i don't know why i made that stink face i'm just like please don't get in my face Oof. this is what i am wearing y'all it's a mess in here because yeah we're, it's a lot going on um this is what i'm wearing i don't even know what shoes i'm wearing yet but this is the outfit y'all besides the shoes i'm not bringing a, well i am bringing a purse but i'm not gonna bring it into the doctor's office with me I'm just throw this on real quick, my little tote, because it already has all my stuff in it. But yeah, so let's go. If I want to go get a coffee, it's 11.10, so yeah, I need it. Ooh, okay. All right, y'all, we're here. I am so nervous. I feel bad for even saying that out loud, because you know some things you just should keep to yourself and try to just, re not repress, but, you know, speak it out of existence. So me saying that out loud is just reinforcing. But, ah! Oh my gosh. I'm nervous okay stomach's starting to hurt child i didn't even have time to stop and get the coffee which is probably for the best because my stomach is hurting i might just stop afterwards but i'm not bringing this whole person in here i'm gonna just bring me an earphone in there i might and yeah, bring my earphones where's my lip is my lip gloss already in my pocket yes yeah, already in my pocket okay yeah i'm just bring my little my little uh wallet thingy I'm nervous, but I feel like I should not be because I already prayed to the Lord about everything. I don't expect anything. I don't know, y'all. I'm just going here. I'll talk to y'all when I'm done. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Did y'all hear that? I'm like, hi, hello, can you hear me? You're not really talking. All I hear is you shuffling around. I just sat on hold for five minutes. I make an appointment because they gave me a referral to the dermatologist. It'd be that type of stuff that just irritates your life. Like, it'd be the little things that just 
This is a medical emergency. Please hang up and dial 911. To schedule an appointment, press 1. Good morning. I'm calling because I just received a referral to make an appointment. So I just wanted to, to see if I could go ahead and make an appointment as a new, um, a new patient. Uh, yeah, definitely. What kind of insurance do you have? I, okay, and does it show like any other words? Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking for. You said, does it show other words? Yes, just other words, anything. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and check it out here. Because okay. All right, I'll do that then. Anything else? Um, let me ask you, do y'all have a size bigger than the large? Do y'all have like an extra large coffee? No. Okay. No, yeah, that's all. That'd be uh, 223. Thank you so much. Trying to schedule that dermatology appointment was just like so much more hectic than it needed to be. I know y'all heard the dude. He just seemed like maybe it was his first day. I don't know. He was like, are there any other letters on the card? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Please explain. I scheduled another appointment for tomorrow, y'all. Tomorrow. The dermatology appointment is tomorrow. He was like, yeah, the next available we have is tomorrow at 10, 10. Or he was like, you can come in September. Oh, dang, that was messed up. Why are these kids not in school? It's always kids walking around out here. It is 131 and they just walking around not in school at all. And y'all know when pedestrians, obviously pedestrians have the right of way when their light is green or whatever the case and they don't have the right of way and they're walking at their own slow little pace and the car was like excuse me he was pushing right on along all right y'all about to about to taste test this coffee this is what it looks like it's real white and they put so much ice in here this is ice from the top to the bottom which is probably for the best because i don't need to be sitting on a full to be honest So much ice. Wow. Mm. See, this is dangerous. This is dangerous because this is so good. It's something about having a whole bunch of ice in your cup. Like that sound it make just make you feel fancy. This cup is like four pounds. I ain't even gonna hold you. I love when my phone ring and I see that it says scam likely because I mean I don't gotta talk. Cause all I gotta do is de decline the call. Moving to the next caller. Next caller please. Y'all, I really wanted to do a Met Gala reaction video, but this Met was just so plain. Carl Lagerfeld, he was very heavily involved in Chanel. So I get that the Met had like a, a Chanel style. The just like classic, chic, look but it was just boring to me honestly we could just sit here and have a little chit chat about it instead of me doing like a whole video okay why you ain't tell me my hair was all lopsided not lopsided it was sticking out but anyway i took i took actual notes y'all like i was very prepared to do this video Chelsea blunt fancy new york oh okay so yeah chelsea blunt she was wearing like that tie and she had like a long skirt on, I want to say. I really liked her look. The vibes I got from her look was a fancy New York woman going out to a really fancy restaurant to celebrate like a high achievement. That's what that look gave me. It didn't give me couture per se, but it definitely gave me, this is very well put together. I felt like it could work for like a really nice dinner. I wrote here, she's the guest of honor who's meeting her date there, grown and mature, chic and esteemed. And then for Michaela Cole, she said it took 130,000 crystals, 26,000 mixed stones, and over 3,800 hours of work to make her dress. And I was just like, is that something to brag about or is that just ridiculous? Like I really couldn't tell because that's wild. For each look, I kind of wrote keywords of how I would describe that look. So here I put fairy tale, strength, and whimsical. And then I imagined that she was like dipped into a glowing chocolate pool that's full of like glitter and jewels. So yeah, I really loved her look. Sergio Hudson, I said, oh! He's not a Target designer, but y'all know he hooked up with Target and he had like his own little collection. A designer who had a collection at Target is not at the Met Gala, like that's super dope. He styled Kiki Palmer and she just, you know, 
she looks so good i love her energy so i'm just like i can't say anything wrong about about kiki palmer honestly and then we found out that serena was pregnant i so can't miss serena but yeah um her dress reminded me of like a table setting i don't mean that in a negative way at all like i really think that that was very artistic but to me it just like gave table setting and i was like how artistic is that to take what looks like a table setting and like make it into a dress carl cara delvine or something like that i really this is another look that I really liked because it just gave Star Wars and it gave, I'm gonna be on theme, but I'm gonna also do what I wanna do. It was a very rebellious look and I loved it. I loved how she had her hair. I can't remember exactly because I'm, I'm really just going off my memory, but I loved that she had the gloves. I think she wore all white and her hair was, I think a little disheveled and then she had like thick eye makeup, I believe. It was just, it was so cute. I wrote here, it reminded me of Rugged Couture. Like she shouldn't be there, she snuck in type thing, but now she's taking over the party. Janelle Monet. The classic black and white. I said, this is literally art because what it gave, like when she had the tie up like this and then her actual dress was wide and billowy. And so it reminded me of her standing atop of a vent in the city that's blowing air. That's what it reminded me of. Kind of like that Marilyn Monroe photo. And then the fact that a lot of people already wore black and white. So I'm like, this is Janelle Monae's thing. Y'all know for a while, she's only wearing black and white. So, yeah, it looked like a skirt that was like blown over. And then she had to change where she took the top of the, she took like the top of the skirt off and it just revealed, it was just like a mesh. It was just cute, I loved it. I loved it. Diddy and Young Miami, they just stepped out. But I love that they had such thick accent. Apart from like how they looked, cause I did like their Diddy's cape and how he wore all black. And I um, also like Young Miami's, uh, she had like a really theatrical neck piece or whatever. So I really loved their look. But I was just like, first of all, thick accents in couture. <laughs> the fact that they just stay completely true to who they are and being as black as they are, it's just something about it. You're just so yourself that you can get on a red carpet where the most fancy can just stay true. Like not trying to switch up your accent, not trying to pronounce words more proper, like really talking how you talk. Wearing couture, it just, I loved it. I hear that Diddy said that he designed his own look. Or he said at least like it's a Sean John thing. I said, oh, Sean John is doing couture. Come on with it, okay? The Carl Lagerfeld face dress, I don't even know who wore that, but I, I seen it and I was like, obnoxious, it's not giving. But honestly, when I saw it, I thought that it was artful in the fact that it was so obnoxious. The fact that they had his face just all over the train. When I was watching them like walk up the steps, or even every time they moved, it was a group of like four men who had to come hold the train. So it's like on top of you having Carl Lagerfeld's face all splattered over your dress, you got four men chasing after you. And I just thought that that was really obnoxiously cute. Erica and Puma, yeah, it was definitely giving Queen B and Princess B. I mean, you know. But Erica Badu, it was giving scary a little bit. She reminded me of the witch doctor spirit, like in the flesh. That's kind of what it reminded me of. But I did love um, the pink coat that I think Puma was wearing. Cardi, honestly, her dress was cool. I know a lot of people really liked it. And I think that Cardi does a really good job dressing for the red carpets and stuff. But I honestly kind of wish that she did a different hairstyle, but I understand it too because, you know, she was being on theme. I really could have saw that dress with like an ethnic hairstyle. Um, boho braids or, I don't know, just something more ethnic. Cause the hair was just, you know, it was like the long gray and it had like the real big poof, which again, I understand it. I understand the choice, but to make just a bit more of a twist on it, I think that would have looked really cute with like some boho braids, like maybe in a bun and just, you know, some hanging off. But Tiana Taylor, she was giving androgynous, but sexy. Yeah, I love that ponytail cause the ponytail was like a little rugged. And then and she had the veil, it was giving, it was definitely giving. And I just, I just love to see people super dressed up and still being themselves. I just feel like sometimes you can get like real dressed up and go to the Met Gala. Like this is a very pristine, highfalutin event. And so it's like you could kind of dim your personality down. But I love that like Diddy, Young Miami, Tiana, like they didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I just love to see people be themselves, like especially in couture. And then lastly, I forget the dude's name. I forget his name, but he was wearing a red suit, but he had shorts on, not pants. And then it was like a long 
tailcoat, I believe. When I initially washed it, they had started at his feet and so they pinned up. And when I saw who it was, I was like, wow. I was not expecting him to wear that. And so I was like, that makes it all the better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what his typical style looks like, but I just, I don't feel like I've never seen him like on a red carpet. I've never been like, ooh, I liked his look. I just love when people wear stuff that you don't expect them to wear. And when they are like daring with their choices. Honestly, I liked, I liked Rihanna's look prior to her doing the reveal. I liked it when she just had a curve you know, you can only see her face with the glasses, with the eyelashes, and then she had on that white, um, it wasn't a hood, I guess like a white hood. I really like that dress within itself, but the reveal was was cute too. Whatchamacallit, he did a spin on one of Carl Lagerfeld's look actually. Um, what is it, why am I gonna say ASAP Rocky? He did a spin on one of Carl Lagerfeld's old looks, so I really like that he did the jeans with the kilt. I thought that that was dope, so. Yeah, those are the main people who I saw on the red carpet or who I wanted, you know, who I wrote down, who I wanted to mention. So yeah, y'all, what did y'all think of the Met Gala? I know it's probably weeks after the Met Gala, but Met Galas go down in history. Like each one, I feel like it's a time in history, so it doesn't really fade. You know what I'm saying? Like you can still talk about it even if it's five weeks later, a year later. So yeah, it wasn't that inspiring this time, but I still wanted to just talk to y'all about it. Since I took the notes, I'm like, why not just have a little combo with y'all about it? What's up, y'all? Happy Thursday. Praise the Lord for another day. It's 12.42. And I'm on my way to my dermatologist appointment. So y'all remember, on Tuesday I went to the doctor's office and after that appointment, I received a referral to go to the dermatologist. So I remember I called the dermatologist, scheduled an appointment. So I scheduled the appointment for the next day, which was yesterday, Wednesday. So tell me why I arrived to the doctor's office at 10, 10 in the morning and I say, hello, I'm here for my 10, 10 appointment. And they was like, what's your name? Give it to him. She said, hold on, what's your name? Say one more time. Give it to him again. And she goes, we don't have an appointment scheduled for you today. Y'all have no appointment scheduled for me? So when I called yesterday and talked to the dude, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Was that a figment of my imagination or did it really happen? Did I really receive those three emails that said my appointment was confirmed? So, you know, I said, I'm trying this new thing where I am every day reminding myself, like if this was my last day, if this was my last week, what would I do? What would I say? Who would I talk to? Where would I go? What would I think? What would I want to focus on? And so I'm like, going to the dermatologist and being upset about this appointment is not one thing that I'm gonna send and put more energy into than it needs to have. So for that reason, I was just like, it's okay. So we rescheduled the appointment for today at 1 p.m. But anyway, I just threw on something real quick, y'all. I'm wearing some jeans, some 993s, a white button up and a bodysuit. All right, this is my fit to go to the dermatologist. I usually don't wear like, the open shirt you know what i'm saying that's not something that i typically do but i think it's cute usually i just do like cardigans or something but yeah i think this is cute too so this is the fit y'all about to head out when i get dressed it just makes my day i just feel so weird leaving the house and i'm not put together first of all my mama didn't raise me like that i could not wear sweatpants until i think when i was in high school and we were started wearing sweatpants for basketball other than that, my mom did not let us wear sweatpants. Like, we had to be dressed when we left the house. I just feel like I am being a traitor to, <laughs> to myself, to my mom's teachings when I just leave the house like any type of way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm like, let me, let me do something with myself, chat. And another thing that I'm like overcoming or being more intentional about is wearing things that I buy. I have a pair of shoes. It's the Bricks and Wood New Balances. They did like a collab. I brought them shoes like two months ago. I've, they're still in the box. I barely even touched them. I'm like, Christina, wear them shoes. They were so high that I'm like, I don't wanna wear them. I don't know what that's called. I really don't, that's, 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 yeah. See my baby hairs. I washed my face. No, I did my baby hairs and then I washed my face. Like a dummy. <laughs> So there went all the baby hair shop. But anyway, I don't even know why I did my baby hairs. I usually don't. But um, I know people say that's played out now. I'm tired of doing baby hairs, but whatever. To each day on, okay. We here at the um at the doctor's office though. So let's see what they gotta say. Y'all, when I tell you I was literally in there for two minutes, like in the actual doctor's office where he came in here, we two minutes. $30 copay. I'm so sick. I'm sick. Oh, 
hold on y'all i don't know why i thought i was not gonna have a copay she said okay your total would be 30 dollars. i said huh <laughs> like 30 dollars for a two minute visit as an adult you really come to understand how life is really a scam humans have just worked it out to where everything is such a scam <laughs> Granted, I realize it's all due to our fallen nature. We are, that's a whole nother conversation. I was doing there, y'all, and I think it broke my skin out. So he was like, yeah, that's common. Like, you'll be fine. I'm be trusting doctors. Like, I heard everything he said, but I was just like, sir, you ain't even asked me no questions. Like, he was really in and out. So I don't even know if I should trust his opinion. And it's funny, like, the doctor offices I've been going to, it's just been, they've been black, which I, I like. It just feels like, not unprofessional, but kind of unprofessional. I hate to say that. I think I'm going the wrong way. I am. I need to be going the other way. I hate to say that. It's just the, the receptionist people. Like today, one of the girls who worked the, the reception area, I guess somebody took her lunch because she walked back to the fridge and her lunch wasn't in there. And she came back to the front and she was like, where is my sandwich? Who took my sandwich? Like, and of course, everybody heard her staff, you know, patients. She over there yelling, where's my sandwich? Who took my sandwich? After a few minutes, nothing came of it. She started like talking to the staff one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, yo, did you take my sandwich? You know? Um, and so she never found out where her sandwich went. And then she was like, oh, let me get my purse. Cause if y'all stealing sandwiches, who knows what else y'all gonna steal? So she put her purse in her lap. <laughs> so once my point was over, she was the one who like checked me out. And I was like, did you get your lunch bag? And she was like, nah. I was like, you know what, it's okay. It's gonna come back to you. And she was like, no, it's gonna come back to them. I said that too. <clears throat> okay, so y'all. Ooh. Hit them brakes, babe, hit them brakes. I've never seen a road that has, Um, I've never seen a road that has speed bumps in it. Hold on, y'all. Let me run that back and explain what I was trying to say because I think somebody hit my off button in that last clip and I definitely glitched out. I was trying to say that I was driving on the back road and it had speed bumps on it. I'm used to speed bumps being in some neighborhoods, some side streets, but this was on a back road, like almost a parkway type situation where the speed limit was like 35, 40. So I'm like, hmm, y'all must really want folks to go airborne over here because if the speed limit is 40 miles per hour and you got a random speed bump right there, sounds a bit dangerous to me. I don't know if y'all are into politics. I'm sure some of y'all are. So... <laughs> Y'all might have heard of uh, George Santos. This man got into Congress, or wherever he is. I believe it's Congress. And he lied. I mean, he completely fabricated his resume. Did not go to the school he said he went to. Did not have this, like, family money. He lied about everything that you can lie about. Literally turned into a different persona in Congress. So now, he never got found out and they pressing charges and everything. Um, and I just think it's so funny. This is every day you see different things where it's like, America really ain't, you Take know. The next lap. They be trying to say they, they this and they that, but I'm just saying, when you think you're the best, life will find a way to humble you. You think that you better than everybody and da 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 da. You gonna get humbled. And I think the US has been in a very humbling time lately. Very humble. Y'all, we're at the outlet. real quick i forgot i needed to return this like since we right here already let me just go ahead and make this return because this is this is a little far from the house so i said since i'm right here i was gonna be 10 minutes away so we're going into h and I look like a freaking bag lady <laughs> i really look like a bag lady y'all hello thank you All right, y'all, return is complete. And guess what I did not do? Yes. I did not look around. I'm so proud of myself, truly. I am so proud of myself, because honestly, I did not have time to come here and do this, but I made time because, yeah. It just made sense, you know? It just made perfect sense. I see her. Ugh. She was all in my car. I'm like, hi. What's going on, lady? Did y'all hit me? Did y'all side swipe me? Is that why you looking so hard? Cause she was looking real bad. She was like, this is what I returned. 
these black jeans and y'all saw me try all of this stuff on this oversized linen shirt and then i also returned these slides because they were too small the linen shirt i just returned because initially i had brought this wanting it to be like a a shirt that i wouldn't have to iron often but my mm, my dirt to dirt self linen is one of the fabrics that wrinkles the most so yeah anyway let me i really need to go home now like for real i'm gonna stop and get a coffee again don't have time for it but in christina's world <laughs> i don't mean nothing huh because girl okay who the crib Would you like to use your mobile app today? It's me with this little childish smile. So excited to get this coffee. <laughs> Do y'all have the, the sugar free option today? Uh, yeah, it's what I should bring in. Okay, yeah, so those two points. Okay, thank you. And I find myself a McDonald's child getting a coffee. I am so hungry. I did not eat today because when I went to the doctor on Tuesday, the dude asked me, Did you eat anything? I said, Yes, I had some chocolate cup of pretzels this morning on the way here. It was a little snack. Lo and behold, I could have done my blood work that day if I didn't eat anything, but they didn't tell me not to eat. I don't know if that's common knowledge that you don't eat when you go to physical, I don't, but they didn't tell me. So now I gotta come back on Friday to do blood work. So anyway, I didn't eat today because I was like, well, just in case, I don't know for if they, I don't know, I don't know. But it's 2.18, so I was like, let me just get a coffee. Y'all, I'm gonna tell Anthony the McDonald's dude was flirting with me. I'm gonna see what he say. Please excuse this angle. But it's funny because that was the same dude who was in there last time when I came to McDonald's. And when I seen it was him, I was like, hey, it's me again. He was like, oh, I don't mind seeing you. Hold on now. Y'all, I took an espresso one time. The way that I was an Energizer Bunny. First time I had an espresso was on a road trip. I was like, yo, I feel like my mind was being altered. It really felt like I was on some type of drug. And after that, I was like, oh, I don't know if espresso is for me, because I would probably get addicted to this. I would be the one to get addicted to espresso. I ordered some wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. It's the time for the 350 sale for the soap. Motion detected at front door. Ziggy, show me front door. Oh, Amazon delivery. But y'all, I got Fiji White Sands, Warm Ocean Breeze. I tried to do like light scents and not bakery type scents. I'm very much a bakery type person. I'm fine with just straight up strawberry pound cake scents. But since it's gonna be for the entire house and not just for like my personal room, I want to do like light refreshing scents. So Palo Santo and Sage. I think this one was popular because it resembles another scent, which I forget which one, but, and I actually blind brought all of these scents. So I had not, ooh, oh yeah, that smells beautiful. Oh, that smells beautiful. The warm ocean breeze is a bit more of a masculine in my personal opinion, but this one also is very fresh, light, comforting. Fiji White Sands is a popular scent. Y'all probably have already smelled this, but Fiji White Sands is another OG one that I love. I got this one because they were doing, I think this was $7 or something like that. I think if you brought this, you got a free wallflower or something of the sorts. So I just grabbed this one, just whatever. I don't really care for, for it, but it'll work. I got one strawberry pound cake among the clouds. This is, what does this one smell like? Among the clouds smells like... Hey, yeah, through your text messages. Oh no, you fine? It was good, I was so proud of you. Okay, bye. Oh, I gotta get me another one of these. I have to get another one of these. This is the fresh coconut, fresh coconut and cotton. This smells like the beach. This, oh yes. I Oh, and the wallflowers are $3 too, I think today. Oh yeah, definitely have to run that up. Anyway, y'all, let me get to work. Let me, let me do some work. Let me act like I have a job. Okay, and I'll catch y'all later. Good morning. It's 8.15 in the morning, and here we are in the office, y'all. I'm currently watching this on YouTube. I rock war veterans 20 years later. I don't know how to explain the war to myself. It's a New York Times documentary. I don't know why 8.15 in the morning, that's what I decided to watch, but here we are. 
But y'all, I just wanted to hop in to close this video out. I hope that y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I'm going to catch you on my next one. Peace.